What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to this content. And let's talk about this next download. There are a group of... I'm here, church members, okay? I'm going to just keep it a bean. I'm going to just keep it a buck 50 with you. It's a group of church members who have rallied behind a woman in particular against you. This woman has professed to her church family that you are a problem for her, that they need to pray. Like I see people like gathered, gathered at the altar, like, you know, at the front of the church, how everybody will come up if you want prayer. It sounds like this woman has stood up and tried to say that you are a problem for her. And she asked her church family to pray for her because of this woman who's antagonizing her. But in reality, you are not antagonizing this woman. This woman is secretly antagonizing you. Her church family don't know that. But these people sat and gathered hands in prayer. Okay. Praying around this woman that you be absolved, not absolved, re excuse me, removed from her life, okay? Extracted from her life, literally, I'm telling you. And that was not nice because you are empress and this woman has actually been coming for you. And again, her church, look, her church family don't know that, but... I don't think that the most high God likes how this woman specified who you were. And then all of these people huddled up around her to pray against you without questioning her motives. Cause like whatever she said about you, it was specific. Okay. Like, some of these people were able to pinpoint who this woman was talking about. And I don't think that everybody in that church was cool with what she did. And But it was a, number of, a large number of people who gathered around her to pray that you would leave her be, leave her alone, be removed from her life. I'm telling you now. So, Holy Spirit, what else? Do we need to know about this, please? And thank you. What is the insight, guidance, and clarity that you have for us at this time? Holy Spirit, from you, through me, please, and thank you. Holy Spirit, we're very grateful and thankful for all the insight, clarity, and wisdom. But what do you want us to know at this time? From you, through me, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do you want us to know about this one? Son. This is your energy, okay? You are somebody who is divinely guided. You are someone who is happy, who brings happiness to the lives of others. You have a purpose. I feel like you have had some sort of rebirth or resurrection in your life, like you've been born again. You've reestablished your relationship with the divine. This is the energy that you're sitting in. The most high God is proud of you. Okay. The most high God is proud of you. So I feel like the universe wants it to be abundantly clear that they're not in agreement with a whole group of people praying against you because this is the energy that you exude to them. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? But this woman tried to expose you. That's what the sun is about as well. You could be a Leo. Eight of Pentacles. You are somebody who is gifted, talented, and skilled. You use your gifts, talents, and skills wisely. You are putting in the right effort towards the right things. Look, the most high God is showing people who you are now out the gate because 
this energy she put out about you to this congregation I'm picking up on, it was wrong. And this is the, the pastor, the reverend or whatever you want to call them, depending on what type of church this was. But this man let this girl stand up there. It was a feminine. Stand up there and talk trash about you now. But there's there's a reason why this emperor allowed this woman to do that. Because I'm telling you, everybody was not in agreement, magician. I'm telling you, there's a reason why he let her take this action to try to expose you to this whole room full of people to try to make you look bad. There, this, there's an agenda here, okay? And some people picked up on that agenda. Because see, you a queen of wands, son, with the eight of pentacles, child. You are a very confident, self-assured, respected, successful individual who is minding her business and ain't bothering nobody now. Because I'm telling you, this emperor, he knew what this woman was about to do. And it's almost like she kind of got permission for Pentacles to get up in front of this church and cause misfortune and loss for you to claim that you were causing misfortune and loss for her. Okay. Wow. And he knew she was going to do it. He knew that this person was going to sow those seeds against you to all them people. And some of the people took the bait, child. Seven of wands, three of cups. Some of those people in that congregation immediately got on the defense against you because of what this woman said. Okay? And there is some sort of social connection between this woman and this this emperor, this preacher, whether it's with her family or with him, with her family in this preacher or with her directly, because he knew that she was going to do this to you. Seven of swords, baby, I'm trying to tell you now, this shit was planned out. Like maybe she, to try to cause a tower for you. Cause see these people that she complained or professed that you were antagonizing her too these people know you okay y'all all come from the same area whether you're still in that area or not these people know you now and it was a plan to cause a tower for you by making scores of individuals feel like you were coming for this woman who's so sneaky and conniving she ain't even hit the table as a feminine energy yet. All of her energy is associated with deceit, dishonesty, misfortune, control, and upheaval. That's what she brings. Okay? And I'm telling you, they think they accomplished something against you. They think that they turned people against you because of everybody that got up and gathered around in prayer with this woman, praying that she's protected from you and that she no longer has you as a problem in her life. But what it also did was it caused some of the members to be just like this right here. And this emperor ain't realized that yet because they ain't like that display, that show, that he allowed this woman to put on on Father's Day at that. This is real time. This happened in somebody's church today. Okay? And some of these congregation members did not appreciate her using Father's Day to try to slander and get sympathy from them. Slander you to get sympathy from them. They didn't appreciate it. And they could see they can see the malice. They can see the hidden agenda now. I'm telling you, six of wands, because this is what she did. 
And you know, it's really given that she a fire sign too. You could have Leo somewhere prominently in your chart, but it's given that this person who did this to you, she a fire sign as well. Look, this was planned out. This was planned out. He had already let her know that she could get up and speak her piece about what she's been dealing with. So this woman must be up under some sort of persecution. She going through some things, okay? Possibly for what she did do to you. And she was trying to get empathy. She was trying to get people back on her side again. And this preacher is on her side. And I'm telling you because there's some sort of parental connection, parental influence. So if her daddy makes large con contributions to that church, this emperor was going to let her get up and do what she did because he want that coin, okay, from her pappy. That's what it's given now. But that wasn't a good move, honey. I'm telling you. This emperor going to regret that he let this woman take this action against you. She a queen of wands too now. I'm telling you, ten of swords. Because see, people finna start turning on him. Because see, they know this woman ain't right. They know this woman ain't right. This man got some drama coming towards him in the future. This emperor's about to experience a five of cups, ten of swords, Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, because his congregation, his family, his church family did not like that he let that girl get up there and try to cause drama for you in your name now. She a Queen of Wands too, I'm telling you. They ain't like that shit. They could see right through it. They could see right through it. And I'm telling you, she's facing challenges because of something she did to you already. And people know that as well. So for her to get up and try to make it seem like you are antagonizing her now to all these people. When they know that her ass is in trouble for something related to you and what she did against you. That's even worse, honey. That he let her fake the funk in his church like that. Three of Pentacles, baby. They know what the fuck going on now. They know what this woman about. They know what she did to you. And the fact that he would give her a platform to further antagonize you, to further, to try to attempt to cause further scrutiny to your name, that's a problem for his church family. And again, some of these people did get up now and gathered around her and prayed. Some of these people did now. Because they it's all that same type of energy. Whatever affiliation they have with this King of Pentacles, they're going to push up that bullshit because of this King of Pentacles. Just like this Emperor pushed up that bullshit because of this King of Pentacles. But see, that's that don't matter. Okay, about this King of Pentacles, because right is right and, and wrong is wrong. And you innocent. They tried to cause a tower for you, honey, today, but you innocent. And them few scragglers that got up there and gathered around her in prayer, because this is what she did now. She stood up there and boohooed and cried and made it sick. Like she didn't say your name, but she said enough specifics that people knew who she was talking about. A light was shined down on who she was referencing now. She made sure she spun that shit so people could think exactly what she wanted them to think, which was that she was talking about you. But once again, you're innocent. You innocent. So she could sit and say whatever she want to say about you until she blew in the face. People know that you are free of whatever accusations she tried to put on your name. Okay, that tower did not fall like they, they hoped it would. They didn't cause the upheaval that they anticipated. They actually caused 
and upheaval for themselves and possibly a new opportunity for you, okay? Because you do got Leo somewhere prominently in your chart. I'm telling you, baby. But she got Leo somewhere prominently in her chart too. This woman was trying to be your copycat, I'm hearing, at one point. That may be why she in trouble. If she ever tried to steal your identity or anything, she didn't got caught up for that, okay? But them trying to make you look bad, somebody in that church heard what was being said and they know what's up with you and they may offer you a new opportunity just because this woman tried to sit up in church and slander you now. Yes, she did. And tried to get sympathy from folks from the church. Like she wasn't standing up there in some damn devil energy with what she was saying and doing against you now. Like nobody couldn't read through her bullshit. She truly feel like she put on a show. Okay? She was given broad, Broadway range up in that damn church. Or so she thought. Or so she thought, honey. What's going to be the chariot? This woman could be like a Cancer Leo cusp. This was her. At, this was her. She went hard, honey. She had a go. Her and this King of Pentacles and this Emperor. They energy lining up. Knight of Wands on the bottom. This her. They energy lining up. Emperor, King of Pentacles, Chariot. All three they ass. Work together to do this little stage play in church today. This little monologue she put on for the congregation. And I'm telling you, they didn't appreciate this shit. They did not appreciate it. This was not the day for her to get up there and tell her truth. Okay, like people don't know the reality. And don't know that she needs healing. And that she's suffering from some sort of loss because of what she did to you. That she need to get herself in alignment. She should have been up there praying for herself. Not, not asking for prayers because somebody trying to make her life hard. And she ain't did nothing to this person. And they won't stop antagonizing her. And she's just asking for strength and prayer for this person who keeps trying to make her life difficult. Like she really got up there and said that y'all. Y'all know those churches that allow people to come up and ask for prayer and they might go and give them the microphone because they got a testimony and all of that. That's what this woman did. And this emperor let her do that because like I told y'all, her daddy gave about a 10 of pentacles to that church. So he let her do that because of this monetary influence. What do we need to know about this opportunity that's going to be coming towards this sun energy because of who they are and the good work that they do? What do we need to know about that? Because you got some sort of opportunity coming towards you now. Somebody wants to work with you, reach out to you, give you something because of what they witnessed in church today. Temperance. I'm telling you, this could be a Sagittarius who saw what they did or tried to do rather. And they want to give you some sort of peace offering. It's almost like they embarrassed because they look people, people talking about this. That's what I'm hearing. People talking about how this man, let that woman get up in church and try to sacrifice you to a whole congregation. Yes, there is now. Like she ain't out here in all this cryptic ass energy. Like she ain't in trouble for something she didn't did against you. Allegedly. Okay, because that's what she's saying. I just heard that too. That's why she was treading lightly with how she referenced you. 
Okay, because that's that's ongoing, is what I'm hearing. But she still said enough that people knew who she was talking about. But you chosen. She can't sacrifice you. I don't care what church house she go into. You chosen by the most high God. And there is a king of swords, Sagittarius energy now, who is well aware of your heart, your soul, and your spirit. And they do want to partner with you. Because they know this woman was sitting up there telling lies on you in the church now. With the, with the preacher sitting right there with a look on his face like it's all right. Like people really looking at him like, what in the hell is wrong with you? I'm telling you now, they looking at him like something ain't right with you. We concerned about the seeds that you sowing. If you think this was okay to do on Father's Day, then give this, this woman a platform to act up the way that she did. Mm. But yeah, this um, King of Swords, Sagittarius energy, they about to come offer you an Ace of Cups, honey, an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Wands. Just because she did that. Mm, mm, mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? It was one for it was 21 44 2 when I said that. You are chosen, you are part of the 144,000. And this is an attempt to try to make you look bad and try to have you in some limbo energy when it comes to what people feel about you. That didn't happen, that didn't work. That didn't work out like she thought it did. And she finna be at the Ten of Wands at that church next. Okay? She already had the Ten of Wands for coming for you in other ways. But now she not finna have that support that she was hoping for. It's like she done made herself look a bad type of way to people who might not have even known what was really going on with her. But after she stood, she stood up in that church and tried to say what she said, people went to go asking, what's she talking about? Who's she talking about? What's that? What was that all about? And people told it. Oh, she talking about that person in the collective. And Mommy Watts a collective. That's who she talking about, child, this empress. Mm -mm. I don't know if she should have did that. That's what they're saying once they find out the real tea behind how she tried to cause some sort of terror for you. This woman tried to make you seem like you was terrorizing her too now. I can't make it up. I'm telling you now. And people know better. People know that in actuality, she was coming for you. Figuring out ways to try to terrorize you. And that that's what she was still doing when she stood her ass up in that church, okay? And tried to get empathy from folks. Like, they gave her the microphone and all. And I'm telling you, people went to digging like, what? What's she talking about? What, what that's about? And somebody was like, Oh, she trying to do something against that empress. Oh, girl, that's what she doing. And they they immediately cut any empathy, any efforts they was going to put towards trying to make her feel better. I'm telling you, maybe about 10, 15 people got up and, and crowded around her in prayer. But it was a whole bunch of people sitting down praying too now. Praying and peeping what the hell was going on. Look, and they know. They know it was a hidden agenda and they're not going to be a part of it. And I'm telling you, you see that clergy person right there? 
that clergy person going to have to explain themselves to that, that board, that church board in the coming month. Whenever the next church meeting is, he going to have to explain why he did that. There she go right there, acting like, oh, what was me? I'm so forlorn. Okay? He going to have to explain why he did what he did and allow her to do what she did. Okay? Let's see if there's any oracle messages before we close. Let's see. Final oracle messages, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. What else do we need to know at this time from you? Do me, Holy Spirit. What else do we need to know? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Final oracle messages surrounding this energy. Like she really put herself out there worse because everybody didn't know that she had some sort of ongoing case. It's some sort of ongoing trouble she got for already fucking with you. I'm telling you, everybody didn't know that. But now everybody know because of how she tried to sit up and embarrass you. It ain't work out the way she thought it did. I'm telling you. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please and thank you manifest the life you want she tried to manifest some sort of empathy sympathy some sort of hatred for you she tried to manifest she tried to manifest sympathy and empathy that's exactly what she tried to do it is what it is. She didn't want to feel like the bad guy no more because for whatever reason, we got wedding and marriage. She felt like you was the bad guy, but you want to know why this person was coming for you? Because somebody that she wanted to be with, that she probably was married to, okay, wanted to be with you. She manifested a life with somebody who wanted to be with you clarify holy spirit confusion spells child trying to tell you now there's somebody who who was able to spiritually manipulate somebody into marrying them believing that they were their divine feminine and that you wasn't okay and to make sure that everything went through she was trying to destroy your life. So if this man decided to try to come for you again, you wouldn't be around, okay? This is one of them. And her asking got caught up for it because you operate in love and light. That's why the sun came out first card for you. And that 5D connection that she created to get this person to marry her, it got out of control. This woman had to eat her words about who, this masculine that she swore wanted her, but it was because of spiritual manipulation. So she came for you about a man. Backstabbers. This woman may have even gotten help to come for you about this man. To make you go away, child. I'm trying to tell you now. She was trying to make you go away. Death funeral energy. You could have Scorpio somewhere prominently in your chart. Okay? But now she's single. And this masculine who she did this confusion spell on to get them to marry her. They want you now. Okay, she couldn't keep this person away from you like she tried to, and she in trouble for trying to keep this person away from you. Pivotal changes. This person still wants to be with you. They didn't got over that confusion spell, and I'm telling you, you're very gifted, talented, and skilled. You do not personify any of the energy that she presented to this congregation about you. You got your priorities in order. 
That's what this masculine knows about you as well. Okay? And this third party energy who tried to embarrass you, they can't tap into this masculine anymore. Probably was trying to tap into you too and can't anymore. They've been cut spiritually. I'm telling you, they, they probably ain't even got no spiritual abilities anymore because of everything that they did with their spiritual abilities. So the, the last thing she could do was to convince this preacher through her father to let her stand up in church and get empathy and try to slander you in the process. And I'm telling you, that's then backfired to anything else, Holy Spirit, anything else. Game over. Game over now. That, that church, them church members ain't having that. That was incorrect. Because see, some of them people know what's up with this woman. I'm telling you, word and got around about her. And she helped the word finish getting passed around about her today with her antics. People know she be doing magic. I'm telling you, they talking about it. And they going to have a meeting with this emperor preacher energy too to ask him why he allowed her to do that. Because that's not a good look. I don't care how much money her daddy gave in that church. That's an abuse of power. That was something very abusive to do. And it was not Christ-like at all. Especially, especially on Father's Day, child. Nobody don't want to hear that shit. People at church with their daddies and their husbands, okay, trying to enjoy the moment, trying to hear a good word. They don't want to hear that crap from this person that they know been out here doing the wrong thing. And then to let her get up in church and act like she right. Child, growth. I'm telling you to get up in church and let her get up in church and act like she has evolved from what she done did wrong. Her actions only show that she still in some sort of energy attempting to antagonize you. See, that's what people saw, that she really do be coming for you. That's what this Aries did, whether he realized it or not. He didn't help her. He actually exposed her even more for who she is by letting her get up there like that now. I'm telling you, that's, how, that's what they saying about her. Anything else? Final message, final card, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Can we get a final card? Please give me another chance. Didn't hit the table. Because I'm telling you, that's what this masculine, who this woman did all of this about, wants to do. He wants to come towards you and ask you for another chance. Because he did get spiritually manipulated into marrying this person. And I feel like this man realizes now that it was his birthright to be with you, not her. I don't think they're together anymore. It is she can't she went from wedding marriage to single. Death funeral sing, no, she went from wedding marriage to go away, death slash funeral and single, honey. So these people not together no more. This masculine has taken flight. And this particular masculine was up under some sort of love spell. Okay? So you just got to decide what you want to do. Okay? But this woman, because protection was in reverse. This woman thought she was going to get some sort of alliance or some sort of protection from this church family i'm telling you but they know that the reason why she doing everything she doing is because she loves this masculine they know everything she said about you is because she loves this masculine and they just not taking the bait baby they just not gonna take it because they know you a good witch okay whether you go to their church or not they know that you ain't did nothing to this woman. 
but be the love interest of this man. Look, universal law came out here, love and MDK. And the love between you and this masculine who may very well be your emperor, okay? Sent her effort to eliminate the partnership between y'all right back to her. And it eliminated the partnership between her and your divine counterpart, okay? That's what didn't happen now. And this attempt, look, this didn't happen to her twice. Her attempt to end your connection with your, your DM ended the connection for her and your DM. And her effort to make you look bad in front of these church people just deaded her reputation in front of them, okay? Like, she'd have been, did better just sitting down in the pew and asking for prayer silently. Because whatever this, whatever she thought she was trying to do against you, baby, it's been done to her, okay? But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.